lovely. So this is a little bit of an impromptu video, but I realised I'm going to dogs this weekend, so I won't have any time to film a video, which means you won't get one until next week, so I thought a tag video would be better than no video at all. I've also been meaning to do this video since Marcia, or as you might know her, Cutie Pie Marcia, tagged me to do this sweater weather tag, so I thought it was about time I did it before spring comes and it kind of just doesn't make sense to do it. It is starting to feel like spring here in the UK but technically it's not spring until the 22nd of March I don't think. I don't know, I asked Siri the other day and apparently it's the 22nd of March. Because I feel like this video isn't going to be enough, I also thought I might as well do an outfit of the day or outfit of the night as it's the evening and I'm going to be going out tonight so that will be my first outfit of the night and the, this outfit isn't amazing. Uh, so I kind of just thought I'd mix the two videos together so it would sort of make up for it. The background has kind of changed a little bit because if you hadn't noticed, I now have a lovely Singer sewing machine and Doug got it for me as a late Valentine's Day present and I love it and I've wanted one for ages and I just hope it doesn't look too much in the background. I wasn't sure whether to swap over the flowers and the sewing machine but the flowers are currently half dead so we'll just cover those up. So on to the questions. Favourite candle scent? My favourite one during the fall winter time is pumpkin latte and it's by Kringle. It smells just like the pumpkin spice lattes from Starbucks. Question number two, coffee, tea or hot chocolate? I do like my iced caramel lattes from Starbucks but if I was to have something at home it would have to be tea and I really really love peppermint tea especially this one by Tea Pigs. Not only do I love Tea Pig packaging and the actual tea bags themselves the peppermint tea is so yummy and it's also caffeine free which is good because I, I already have a lot of caffeine at Starbucks and I don't sleep very well and so the less caffeine I can intake the better. Number three, what is the best fall memory you have? In general I love it when you know that autumn is finally here, when you're walking down the street and the trees are starting to turn orange and brown and red, leaves start to fall on the ground and it, it's the nice bit of cold weather before the horrid winter comes. Autumn's nice where you can wear sort of a, a, a cardigan and a coat and not be too cold. Being on the train and seeing all the countryside all turn autumnal and the air just feels and smells different and it's just that feeling of winter coming and it's nostalgic but an actual memory. I think fireworks night a couple of years ago was really nice and I went to the Nantwich fireworks with Doug and all his friends from college and that was really really fun. That's the only thing I can think of. And Halloween. Halloween is always a good night out. Number four, which makeup trend do you prefer? Dark lips or winged eyeliner? I'm definitely a lipstick kind of girl so I probably have to say dark lips but I do love winged eyeliner just not on me because it doesn't really, I don't have the right eyelids for it. Best fragrance for fall? I had a Dita Fontes fragrance which I really 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 loved and I think it was worth £20 from Boots. It got sent to me by a company a couple of years back now. I think I might go find it again because I really really liked it and it was quite a deep scent and so it was quite autumnal and wintry. Number six is favourite Thanksgiving food. Now we don't have Thanksgiving here in England, well I, I definitely don't celebrate it anyway. We have just Christmas and so Christmas time I'd have to say honey glazed carrots and parsnips which is so good and I do garlic brussels sprouts which are just the bomb. I used to really like mince pies and then this winter I just decided I didn't like them. Number seven is what is your autumn weather like where you live? Very very windy and it just it, the, the air gets a lot nippier so when it's windy it goes from being just a nice humid kind of like blow to being really kind of like oh you know just got a little bit of bite to it and you definitely want to wrap up when it's windy it will start to get a lot rainier uh, but that, that's, that's about it really and the temperature will fall to about 11-ish degrees uh, no colder than about 5 degrees it doesn't really go below 5 until winter hits and then we start to get snow in that next question is most worn sweater and I have a lot a lot a lot or sweaters or here we say jumpers so it's really hard to pick which jumpers I've probably worn the most but last autumn I wore this cable knit jumper I've got quite a few but I liked this one because it was more fitted so I had this navy one and I also had it in cream and I'd have to say I probably wore these two 
the most last winter because they're the most versatile and they're comfy and I just really liked them. Number nine, must have nail polish this fall. Well, last fall, because it's already been and gone. One is a, an American Apparel nail polish and it's in the color Downtown LA. And it's a nice vibrant bright red. And the other one is Blanc by Essie, which I know is a really weird fall color to wear. But I just really like my white nail polishes then and I still do now. Tenth question, football games or jumping in leaf piles? Definitely not football games. So I'd have to say jumping in leaf piles, although, you don't really get leaf piles around here. If I do see a pile of leaves, I do generally kick them. So I'd say leaf kicking, not leaf jumping. Skinny jeans or leggings. Skinny jeans, I'm wearing them right now. I've worn skinny jeans for years now. 12, combat boots or Uggs? Neither. Is pumpkin spice latte worth the hype? A couple of years ago, I would have been like, yeah. But this year, I didn't really have it that much. I got so excited about it coming out and I was just like it's amazing and maybe I hyped it up too much in my head I had it and was like actually I don't really like it anymore I did have it in a frappuccino form though and that's amazing last two questions first is favorite fall TV show I would probably have to say X Factor that's something that makes you feel all autumnal because as soon as X Factor starts that's when autumn begins and it goes right up until the week before my birthday and I can't really think of anything else and last question what song really gets you in the fall spirit oh wow i probably have to hear it to tell you i can't think of anything right now but that's a bit naff isn't it last question i can't even answer so i was about to say christmas songs but that's not right is it because that's not fall oh i can't think of anything i'm sorry so that's the tag video i guess i should get on and do my little outfit of the night today i got this jumper from topshop and i I don't have any v-neck jumpers so this is a first for me and it is long sleeve but I've just rolled it up just a little bit longer at the back probably a little bit too long I'd like it to be a little bit higher but that's what you get when you're fairly short and then I've just got some black jeans on from Topshop I think you've seen these ones before they're just the low rise ones and then I've just got my new look flats on and to jazz up this outfit I am wearing Candy Yum Yum by MAC I don't know what's happened to me, but I'm really liking pink at the moment. I have never liked pink, and I've actually got a pink lipstick. And talking of pink, I've also got pink on my nails, but it's a very, very light pink. It's from Barry M, and it's called Rose Hip. At first glance, it looks white, but it's actually a very, very pale pink, and it's gorgeous. I love it. I wore a watch the first time ever as well. It's like a first for everything in this video. And this is from Danielle, Me uh, Danielle Wellington. And then I'm probably going to bung on this leather jacket I'm not too sure actually I've not even tried it on so we shall see yeah so I'm probably gonna wear this leather jacket from Topshop Petite and then I'm probably gonna wear this bag that I got from Topshop a few years ago it's just a little rucksack over the shoulder thing and I got a new pair from Topshop the other day actually I'll show you it now and it only just sort of fits into my um, other little over the shoulder bag so it's just so much easier to have it in here look it's bright yellowy green and I just I think it's amazing I'll link it in the down bar they should still have it because it's very new and it just fits everything in and I think that's everything I'm probably just going to spritz a bit of Chloe perfume on I'm not going out as in like boogie although even if I was I probably would just wear this anyway I don't really make too much of a fuss about dressing up on a night out and I'd much rather just have fun with my friends than be worrying about my feet hurting in heels but anywho that is it I hope you enjoyed the video and you didn't mind me putting this little outfit of the night in just at the end and I will see you in my next video Mwah.